All right. Woo. Hello, everyone. It's Midday with Tara. It's your girl, Tara. And it's Wednesday, April the 20th. I'm excited today. Um, hmm. We've been talking about focus this month. Keeping focused, what it is, what it means to be focused. We've been talking about distractions. And today, I kind of was, I have so much information I want to give, but I was battling with the topic, the topic today as it relates to focus. And if you follow me, I posted a few weeks ago, everything matters. Everything matters. As it relates to focus, you guys, we have to understand every little seemingly insignificant thing that you do, it matters. It can become a distraction or it can be a stepping stone in accomplishing your goals or your purpose. So today I want to just talk about that just a little bit. I'm not going to be on too long, but you know, last week we talked about focus, um, distractions, destroy destiny. Distractions destroy your destiny, plain and simple. If you have a distraction, it will destroy your destiny. You know, sometimes it'll it'll take you on a, a whole nother path that was not your destiny, was not your purpose. It took you somewhere that you find yourself. I, how did I get here? You find yourself looking at yourself and evaluating yourself saying, how did I become this person? Distractions. Distractions destroy destiny. So today we're going to talk a little bit about focus, how everything matters. Everything that you do, it matters when it comes to focus. We are so easily distracted. And I want to see what I'm saying. Uh, let me tell you what I'm saying. We're creatures of habit. Okay. When we get accustomed to doing something and we began to create patterns to change it, and something comes along or someone comes along, an event, circumstance, sickness, health, money, whatever it is, that disturbs the new pattern that you are trying to create and it causes you some emotional or psychological or even physical distress because we are creatures of habits we go back to what we were doing before we start to change to, that made us feel good to take away that emotional pain, psychological pain, or even physical pain. And that could be uh, spending money, sex, eating, whatever it was to put you back in that comfort zone. And every time you do that, it creates a conundrum. So when you try to make a new pattern, it's kind of like it's hard for you to make that pattern again because it's kind of like this. You're going back, digging another hole. You know, you have a hole in the ground and you dig a hole. You're digging a hole. OK, you stop digging a hole. You left that hole alone for a while. You're going over here. You're doing something different. Life happens. And guess what? It throws you back in because now the hole is already open. It throws you in that hole. Well, when it throws you in that hole, it impacts that hole and it creates an expansion. It goes wider and deeper. OK, this is what happens uh, neurologically in our brain. So 
Now, okay, um, I've been in this situation right here again. You find yourself back in that same situation. So now I want to change. I'm trying to get back focused. I want to do something different. I'm trying to get back on track. Well, guess what? If you're in a wider, deeper hole, it takes more effort, more focus, more willpower to get out of that hole and start something over again. And each time it happens, it just keeps the same cycle keeps going over and over and over again till you until you in a place that you say like, well, how did I get here? You're so deep. It's so deep. It's so wide until you make you, you tell yourself, well, you know what? This is just this is how, this is just how I am. This is just going to be my life. Um, this is where God this is the lie that people tell. This is what God wants me right now. Come on, people. Come on. We got to stay focused. Everything that we do, do in our life, it matters. It impacts everything. I, I'm, I'm taking my time and I'm talking about this because I really want you to get it. And I wrote a few notes. When we're talking about focus, it's a process. When you're trying to get to your purpose, you have to have focus. It, there is a process to get to your purpose. You have focus. You got to stay focused. Focus. What? I guess you said, okay, what is focus? Focus is tunnel vision. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it. Tunnel vision where you are so concentrated, you're so focused that if you look to the right, if you look to the left, you can only see limited capability, but it keeps you in a place where you're so focused that you don't turn your head. You don't turn your head so that you stay focused. It's tunnel vision. If you don't have tunnel vision, if you don't have that level of focus, when life happens, you're like, okay. So then you're going this way. Something else happens, uh, then you're going this way. Something huge happens, everything's off, and you're just everywhere. So we have to stay focused, and everything matters. Because if you don't stay focused during, because focus causes you to go through, you saw this, it's a process, tunnel vision. Focus causes you to go through a process. I need for y'all to like and share this because this is going to help somebody. This is going to like and share, share and like, invite. This is going to help somebody. Focus, when you get focused, you begin going through a process. Process, focus, look, focus, tunnel vision process just like if you ever in a big city you're going through the tunnel the turn it's a you if you go to the left or right you're gonna hit something you're gonna destroy your car you're gonna hit a car so you have to stay focused when you're going through when you're trying to get make a new pattern do some create some changes get to your purpose we'll talk about purpose later because a lot of y'all got purpose things and stuff and that is not purpose it's just goals that is not your purpose we'll talk about that later but there's a process when you get focused then you start processing you start processing when you process two things happen personality is affected and you're on the road to your purpose personality purpose personality purpose focus process personality focus a uh, pur uh, purpose personality purpose now when i say personality a lot of you guys say well mm, I, my, I know my personality mm -mm. no you don't because some of you guys have not sat down and identified who you really are to understand your true personality. You are living your life in acting and reacting from a personality that's been damaged, that's been hurt, that's 
filtered through years of rejection, abandonment, hurt, uh, disappointment. So you've created this personality, this person that you are not, <laughs> you are not, you are not. So guess what happens? It distorts your purpose. Did you hear that? It distorts your purpose. Okay, so let me just get on a little bit. Everything matters. What, Tara, I guess you said, what is everything? Everything you do every day from the food that you eat from the places that you go, from the books that you read, from the television shows and music that you listen to, to the relationships that you build or the relationships that you cut off. Everything matters. Everything matters. Because in life, we have to have a balance. to um, Finances. Everything matters. If you are, listen to me, and y'all know I'm scripturally based. I love the Lord. I love the principles. If you are faithful in the little things, little, tiny, everything matters. Things. He said he'll make you ruler over much. If you can't get up every day and be consistent, have a consistent routine in uh, whatever it is, reading every day or studying something every day or, or exercising every day or doing something to propel your purpose every day, saving money every day. If you cannot be faithful in that, you ain't gonna never. And I, 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 know, I know I'm speaking for my English people incorrect, but this is how I need to say, you ain't gonna never, <laughs> you ain't gonna never get to your purpose. You're gonna get to a purpose, but you're not gonna get to your intended purpose. Guys, listen to me. I'm keeping this thing 100. I've been around this cycle so many doggone times until I had to get it. You cannot do this thing haphazardly. You cannot. Tired, sleepy, broke, mad, sad. Mm -mm. You cannot let anything or anybody get you off focus. Okay, what's focus? Let me tell you what, what, what happens. When we're talking about focus, staying in balance, trying to get that purpose, um, trying to create a new um, new normal, stop compromising. You know, I, I counsel women, coach women, youth. Um, I've been in the beauty business for oh, almost 30 years. I talk to so many people. Let me tell you what stops people. From focusing and getting into it and going through their process and getting to their de purpose and destiny. They compromise. I mean, this thing's simple. I did it. Some of y'all are still doing it. You compromise. Something happens. And what do you do? Well, I, you compromise your standards. You compromise your habits. You compromise, you compromise everything because you lonely. You got to have that new dress, a new pair of shoes. You horny. You jealous of Indians looking at somebody else coming up. Don't know what they're doing to come up. You hurt. Yeah, I wrote this down. You hurt. Uh, you have low self-esteem. You have you have never dealt with yourself. You have never dealt with yourself. All of these things you compromise, and then when you compromise, it's just like this: taking this down. When you do all them, you take it down and you look to the left. Okay, I can just do this for a little bit, or I can just do that for a little bit. I'm gonna be okay. Remember now, we creatures of habit. 
You told yourself you weren't drinking, you weren't hanging out anymore. Guess what you did? Your friends came over that you hadn't seen in 10 or 15 years. Oh, wow. Let's go out to eat. Let's get a bottle of wine. You know you can't drink wine. Because if you start drinking wine, guess what? Then you're going to want to get you a mixed drink. And then when you get your mixed drink, then it's going to become a habit. Yeah. Then you... You're all fat focus and you're back into this. You got that impact. Bam. Slam back down. You made a bigger, a wider hole. You made a deeper impact and you stuck there until you say, oh, okay. Hey, I'm, I'm going to do this again. So now you already wide and deep. It's going to take you more energy. And the more energy that we have to Put into something, the more likely we're going to do it continually because we are creatures of habit and we are in a microwave society. We want stuff quick, fast, in a hurry. We want to take a pill. You know you 300 pounds overweight <laughs> and you want to take a pill in 90 days and lose 250. Not happening. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not happening, y'all. Not happening. You know, it's a process of everything. It's a process of everything. So let me just share this with you. Like I said, what? Everything matters. We have to understand when we're doing something new, when we're trying to change our lives, when we're trying to reach our purpose, our destiny, our goals, we have to understand that everything that we do, it matters. It matters, guys. I'm working on my PhD in psychology, gender diversities. Every. When I tell you everything that I do, it matters. Every relationship, every new person, every conversation I have, it matters because it helps me understand how people are, how people respond and how they react. It helps me understand the human brain. It, it, it even helps me understand men, not men and just women, but culturally, how we are so diverse, religiously. Everything matters. Me coming on here every Wednesday, I'm not just doing this because I'm trying to get famous or popular because I'm already famous and popular <laughs> to, to myself. Maybe not to you, but to me. I'm famous and I'm popular to me all in one. I'm a superstar to myself. I'm not trying to be a superstar to you. I'm trying to help you because my purpose on here, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, is to inspire, educate, and empower you. Listen to me. Inspire, educate, and empower you because if you don't get this, that everything that you do from the food that you eat, from the time that you go to bed to the time that you wake up, everything to the relationship that you come in contact with, that you build, that you destroy, it matters, you guys, because everything impacts your life in some form or fashion. And if you don't understand this, you will always be like some people that I come in contact with this uh, 60, 70, 80, just had a conversation. They're 82 years old. And guess what? They've been that way all their life and they're not going to change. The older you get, the more likely you are to change. People not changing and you frustrated because they mean an honorary or they should know better. They're not. You, they're not. You know better. So since you know better, you have to do better. Since you know better, you have to do better. You have to implement things in your life that's going to be inspiring to others so that you can educate them and empower them so that they can uh, live out their purpose. Everything matters. Y'all need to like and share this thing. Everything matters in your life. Conversations. 
My word says, you know what? Don't talk out of conversations. Don't get you in trouble. Talking about stupid stuff, insignificant stuff, gossip, what's going on on love and hip hop. Who cares? What's going on with Trump? Who cares? Hillary and whoever. Nobody. Let me tell you something. If that stuff is not a part of your purpose, stop indulging in those conversations that are not propelling you to stay focused in your process to re your, reach your purpose. And I can tell what some of you guys are. I can tell by some of the stuff that you post on social media. You jaw jacking on one thing all the time. You got a scripture over here, but the next five things you got to say has is about gossip or some stupid stuff that you posted up. That's where your mind is. It just to stay focused, your mind has to be constantly, constantly, constantly on the end game. Whatever your purpose is, your mind has to be constantly on there because when your mind is constantly on there, neurologically, you're creating a new brain pathway that's going to keep you in this tunnel vision. And it's the only thing you're going to see is purpose. Only thing you're going to do is purpose. Only thing you're going to say is purpose. You have to you have to. So let me just tell you this. I, I talked about it a little bit because my time is almost up. I said, guess what? You got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. Everything matters. Everything that you do, it matters. Eating matters because if you're unhealthy, you're not going to get your, your, your uh, purpose. You're going to die before you get there because you got high blood pressure. You're a diabetic. You even have a stroke. You got to eat healthy. Exercise. Your relationships, if you're in a bad relationship, cut it off. Cut, C-U-T, cut that stuff off. I don't care if it's with family. Cut that stuff off because it's toxic to you. If you one person that spend more time on watching television, reality shows, that stuff becomes your reality. Then you start acting out the same crazy people on television. You start living it out. So you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused because your purpose and stay in focus to get you through the process so that you can get to your uh, purpose is and purpose is look inspire. I wrote what inspire means. Inspire means this to feel with um, the feeling of something attractive. That's uh, the ability to feel something attractive. That's that means I can attract you to something. When I'm inspiring you, like I'm doing now, you hear on you hear because you are attracted to it. You are attracted to the words that I'm saying. Then the next thing is to educate. Educate means to what? Give intellectual, moral, or social instructions. It means to give information. I'm doing that. I'm inspiring you so that hey, you will listen. Something I said. So now you're going to keep listening so you can get educated, so you can stay focused. And then I'm going to empower you. Empower means this, to make something stronger. Come on, guys, to get the purpose, you got to get stronger. To make something stronger. Make it so that you can have control over your life and clarity. Another one says to give you to get you to the next level. So my purpose is to inspire, to educate, and to empower you guys. But it's not going to happen if you have, if you, my mama said you have ass doing stuff. <laughs> you have doing it. Everything that you do, you have to to do it purposefully you have to be strategic and you have to have a system because if you don't have this system I, you know what and i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna get ready to go i had somebody say well tara they wanted me to get in front of the camera and do something i was helping behind the camera and they said to me tara 
You want to get in front of camera? Say, I said, I don't like to be in front of camera. They said, well, you always on camera. Y'all don't mean I like to be on here. I don't like to be on camera. That's why a lot of you guys don't see me out everywhere. I, I'm a naturally an introvert. Now, when I'm in my element, element working with people, working on when I'm in my purpose, I'm, a, I'm an extrovert. I'm out there. I'm bold. I'm courageous. I'm empowering. I'm inspired. But next, I'm, I'm one of those people that want to sit back in the back. So it's it's purposeful for me to come on every Wednesday. It's perp I do this on purpose because I'm working on something. I'm staying focused. And I love the comments, the messages that people send me saying, hey, girl, something you said, it just changed my life. I needed to hear that. So listen, you guys, this is Midday with Tara. Share this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube page. Yeah, I got a YouTube page. I'm still working. Initially, the new talk show was supposed to come out this month, but we're still working on a few things. So, hey, we're going to have a talk show. Well, we, it's going to be real, raw, and relevant. Y'all know, real, raw, and relevant. But we're going to get some people focused on their path, heal, so that they can live out, so that they can inspire, educate, and empower you guys. Empower the next person. So this has been Midday with Tara. I love you guys. Until next Wednesday, see you guys. Thanks.